Recently, a powerful tropical cyclone Elsa had upgraded to category 5 the highest severity system of the coast of Western Australia and made a landfall as one of the most destructive storms to hit the region in more than a decade. There is a history of tropical cyclones affecting northeastern Australia for over 5000 years. But what are tropical storms and why they are so dangerous? And welcome to It's Tomorrow News and you are with Hena Talati. Today we will understand about the tropical cyclones in brief. A tropical cyclone is rapidly rotating storm system characterized by a low pressure center, a closed low level atmospheric circulation, strong winds and a spiral arrangement of thunderstorm that produce heavy rain and squalls. At the center of the mature tropical cyclone, air sinks rather than rises. For a sufficiently strong storm, air may sink over a layer deep enough to suppress cloud formation, thereby creating a clear eye. Depending on its location and strength, the tropical cyclone is referred to by different names. It can be called hurricane, typhoon, tropical storm, cyclonic storm, tropical depression or simply cyclone. Now let's understand different categories of the tropical cyclones. A hurricane is a strong tropical cyclone that occurs in the Atlantic Ocean or Northeastern Pacific Ocean and a typhoon occurs in the Northwestern Pacific Ocean. In the Indian Ocean, South Pacific and South Atlantic, comparable storms are referred to as a tropical cyclones and such storms in the Indian Ocean can also be called severe cyclonic storms. The word tropical refers to the geographical origin of these systems which form almost exclusively over the tropical seas. Cyclone refers to their winds moving in a circle whirling around their central clear eye with their surface winds blowing counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. A strong rotating winds of the tropical cyclone are a result of the conversation of the angular momentum imparted by the earth's rotation as air flows inwards towards the axis of the rotation. As a result, they rarely form within the 5 degrees of the equator. The primary energy source of these storms is warm ocean waters. These storms are therefore typically strongest when over or near the water and they weaken quite rapidly over the land. This causes coastal regions to be particularly vulnerable to the tropical cyclones compared to inland regions. Coastal damage may be caused by the strong winds and rain, high waves, storm surges due to the wind and severe pressure changes and the potential of the spawning tornadoes. This in turn can lead to the river flooding, overland flooding and generally overwhelming of the local water control structures across a large area. Although their effects on the human populations can be devastating, however, occasionally tropical cyclones may play a role in relieving the drought conditions. They also carry heat and energy away from the tropics and transport it towards the temperate latitudes, which plays an important role in regulating global climate. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.